Yeah, man. Big respect reaching out to my brother, Selector Hype, you know, and the Sound System TV on YouTube. Remember to click that subscribe button for all your updates in regards to the Sound System culture, you know. Yeah, man. Bang, I say so. What's good, everybody? It's your Shuni Selector Hype TV Sound System. You know what to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And for 2022, you know what it is. Quality over quantity. Our videos have been very few and far apart, but every time we come, we come with something totally different for the massives. Then please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Also remember, Sound System Clothing, United Fashion and Music for the past 11 years, still going strong. Thank you so much for everybody who has been supporting us. Now, 2022 has been a mad one. Absolutely crazy for UK sound system culture right now. Obviously, we've got World Clash to end coming. But one big event that is taking place in June, Saturday the 4th of June, we've got the big one. Ecstasy 4x4 versus Willpower. We're going to be talking about that look later on. But my good friends are inside the building. One of the first sound systems that I actually interviewed and started off this whole TV channel with. And they come and definitely, they read the memo. They knew what was going down. They knew the whole future and the plans of the TV sound system. And they're back up inside the building. Ecstasy 4x4, Zylo and Marky G. What's going down? Blessings. Good yeah. to be here again. You know, let's support the thing from there once. We have, to <laughs> fight. we have to forward again. But big up to everybody who's tuned in and that. And uh, yeah, locked in. And you know, uh -huh. glad for having a day. I can't. From the last time we're checking out to know how all you bad things go on. So glad for still no forward back and you, still as a, as, as a team, like ecstasy right now, how, how's things? Bless up select type, you don't mm. know the thing. Or, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Every, everything's good right now. You know, ecstasy right now. Obviously, we've got the clash coming up and uh -huh. thing. And, you know, still juggling, doing all the dates and thing. Mm. You know what I mean? But mainly, we're focusing on the clash and thing. And so we're in, we're in a good spirit, man. Yeah, yeah man. Things nice. Man. Trust me. And um, in the middle there, there's a, there's a, there's a seat there available for the man himself Yardy K he should be on our on his way so hopefully we're going to get him inside the place if not try and figure out a phone call conversation or something that I can do a zoom thing or something and we'll figure that out but we're not going to leave him out no time at all another member who um unfortunately has gone and to do other things was the man himself DJ Prince now I had a very very good interview um, with DJ Prince one on one, and has given me the whole insight to ecstasy um, four by four. The time that he was on there, um, a lot of respect mutually from both of you. Unfortunately, he's going to go and party um, his ways. Um, without going too deep into what he, what, what it was about, um, was it all mutual? Everything is good. Yeah, man, everything's all good, man. All mutual, you know. Prince moved on to do his his own thing. He wants mm -hmm. to do his juggling thing. So you know what I mean, and like cool. Because I was was having this conversation with somebody. Um, he's doing his thing with DJ Hypes. Mm -hmm. Was DJ Hypes a part of Ecstasy? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you. Somebody owes me. I don't know who's watching yeah, this. Man. You owe Both me some money because I had this conversation. <laughs> no, no, no. He wasn't. He was. I said he was, man. Yeah, man. Kaleki Change. Yeah, Kaleki Change. His names are in the dub. Big up yeah. Hypes and Prince. Same way. It was. It. It. It wasn't a. Th a thing that happened the man them mm -hmm. uh, you know look the saying goes god bless a man that has his own in it yeah, so man, 100, you know man. what i mean anybody anybody who's had something where you you bring people on to to your movement you really you should do that with the intention of knowing that you're gonna send them out back mm -hmm. in into the world again as a better good. does that make sense yeah, so definitely we got the man them same way it's it's, it's, it's not no change they're uh. just under, you know what i mean they're they're making their way now. Does that make sense? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Space for everybody. Yeah, I like. Man. I really liked um, his time on Ecstasy, especially when he was there. For me, it was like it brought out a lot of you, Zylo, especially as a selector. Because more time when Ecstasy's clashing, we see Marky G mm. and we see Yardy K a lot, and you're kind of in the background making the the, the motions turn. <laughs> we never really see selecting yeah, as yeah, much yeah. as we do Marky G. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. clash with. The online clash that Twin Tower with Twin Tower when yeah. it was you and Prince. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. one of my favorite performances from a UK sound. It was on point. Respect, it was man. tight. It was it was insane. And I says, Respect, yo, man. a lot of people says, yo, so I like his selection. I said, he can. He's been doing this. Yeah, but it's yeah, not yeah. having that opportunity. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. is it a case of now you're gonna go back to that position of making the not wheels even. turn and and continue that space, or are we gonna see you jump back into that? kind of selecting more yeah with like, like we've always been a camp where we, we're confident in one another in whatever kind of is the appropriate setting does that yeah. make sense like uh -huh. we look at it as a thing where whoever goes to do whichever booking 
should be able to manage it as well as if yeah. not better than the other person does that make sense yeah. whether it's me and yadi or me and prince or mark and prince or mark or yeah, like whoever it would have been yeah whoever's going can supposed to can manage it so that being said as i said going forward it's 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 a it's a needs must situation mm-hmm. we, you know the way we, uh, we kind of work is you know we we come up with our ideas and you know what i mean who whoever it is to execute it just go and do it yeah. so you know what i mean cool. it might even be one round of mark shots one and i shot mm-hmm. however yeah. but to us that's not the important bit what's important to us is that it gets delivered how we've envisioned it does that make sense so yeah, yeah. it's just whoever does it but now nah, listen it's good to get the flowers so and i'm not a man that really is like an upfront <laughs> type person like that so yeah. yes me take a blessing and the forward <laughs> give thanks and uk sound uk sounds now marky it's, it's mm-hmm. It's something that you've been in for a very long time. So you've seen them come, you've seen them go. Yeah, yeah. Um, since the start of the year, we could say that there's been a fair few clashes coming on. There's a, mm. a few sound systems that are out there that's doing their thing. Um, how have you seen the scene change? Have you, is, it, is it looking like it's going into the right direction? Because one time it was really looking kind of bad out there. Well, there you go. You've already said it. Like <laughs> it's already it is going in the right direction. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because since the start of the year, there's like there was clashes back to back you know what i mean yeah more than sample mm-hmm. that was a good look you know what i mean and and it was you know it's not the regular sound like more than the next sound that just come through you know what i mean yeah. um pure vibes mm-hmm. you know what i mean like a lot of young ones are coming up they're getting the the highlight um yeah. the platforms are there for them to be to to, to actually do their thing as uh-huh. well you know what i mean so 100 percent good look bro like, okay cool cool you know is there I mean? anybody impressing you right now who's who have you seen that come out there and kind of look like they've they've hit the ground running not pure vibes pure, mm-hmm. pure, uh, pure vibes or like you know what i mean like the evidence is there you yeah. know what i mean from you know the first time i seen pure vibes it was on marlon bashments like, i forgot what he was doing i forgot what it's it called he had he had an event um marlon. yeah but big up marlon bashment from music must have yeah. like he had this event and he had melaton music oh master. yeah yes yeah, oh, I, can't, I can't remember the I name of yeah. it um I am big on Marlin, man. Yeah. He's had a few. It was in the lockdown, didn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. Even invasion was. Yeah, yeah, an invasion. So, so they, and... they, from that is where I was impressed by pure vibes. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, new sound from London, young youths. Yeah, and hating from impressive. London. I think London. Yeah. It's been a bit shaky for the London sounds. And a lot of it's been yeah, yeah. Badlands thing been going on. And we're yeah, yeah, finally yeah. seeing a, like a London sound, young sound, who are definitely, definitely good to go. What about you, Zylo? Any, anybody that's like, you've, you've, you're seeing the vibes from right now? I would honestly have to say the same, pure vibes. I do mm. like to listen to, cause I, rate, I rate the youth vibes, man. Big up, big up, big up diamonds. Mm-hmm. No, give me our vibes and when the youth they are play, I'm like, yeah, I, you, yeah, yeah. all right, cool. Uh, you get what I mean? Yeah. yeah, man, it's persona and how he and but what I like a, about him as well is is one of them things where you can tell when somebody's playing the thing that they've built. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like you can see when somebody's this is my thing. You get me? They play. You play. You sound different when. I don't know. There's just there's something different about it, any. So mm. you can see that there's a you that's work hard and build him thing, and he might, he might go on with him thing. So I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I rate diamonds. Then I, I like listening to diamonds. But okay. Yeah, cool. man. Pure vibes, man. Yeah, man. Them, UK, man. UK is definitely on a vibe. I did uh, my top ten for the UK sounds them at the start of the year, and mm. some of them have disappointed me a bit. I thought I would have seen a lot more from them. But those who I did put on there and say and are doing things, I'm glad I put them on there. Mm. I'm glad at the end of the year I'm not gonna say, I'm gonna tell you about them man <laughs> You know the ones that, you know the late comers who yeah, wanna just yeah, jump yeah, on the bandwagon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sound class culture, it's the elephant in the room one, this one, isn't it? Is sound clash culture dead? It seems like the topic of all topics since one of the biggest promoters them for World Clash, Chin kinda came out with his series and giving us episodes upon top of episodes, mm. upon top of episodes mm-hmm. on his reasons why sound clash culture is dead. Um, I was gonna hand it over to you. It's just a simple question. Is sound clash culture dead? No, not definitively no. Um, it's like it's like a lot of different popular cultures, and it they reach to a point where it kind of gets to the, the 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 prime of it and then it's a what next moment and some survive and some don't and many 
revive and, and, and whatnot. But I think that, I don't think it's just isolated to sound clash culture alone. I think the fact that we're having this conversation about sound clash culture is actually a smaller part of a wider question of where dancehall and reggae is itself. Does that make yeah. sense? Mm -hmm. I don't feel like, or rather, I feel like a lot of the things affecting dancehall and reggae as both an industry and as a, a scene, then if you want to give it that. I know to a lot of people, including people like us, it's not just a scene car. Mm. We're born and growing up, you get yeah. me? It's part of your day, it's part of just your nature as a person. But yeah. to how we know it, it's different and it's not reflective of what I think a lot of us would recognise as dancehall and reggae, mm -hmm. both music and culture. Like yeah. I was I was having a conversation the other day and my thing is this, at the moment, it's, it's, it's kind of crap to say, but I feel like a lot of the music that we're getting now is music made by Jamaicans as opposed to Jamaican music. Mm -hmm. You feeling where I'm yeah, going yeah, with that? Yeah, yeah, I hear that. There, there's an identity to Jamaican music. As much as it is right to say, make the youth them do their thing and follow their vision, because that's how music evolves. That's how you get new music. Mm -hmm. That's how, that's how anything happens. It, you know, experimentation is the key to it. We rate King Tubby's because he was experimenting. You uh, know what I mean? Experimental. We, had, I hear that. we got everything out of it. So you should allow them that space to do that. But. They should be, I think, more aware of what the fundamentals are of what is regarded as reggae and what is regarded as dancehall, yeah. particularly from a, a musical point of view. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now I go into what I'm keep. I, I could go on for ages, and I'll but mm. I'll, I'll keep it a bit shorter to relate it back to the point. I feel like a sound systems can only play what's being made. So if people aren't really coming to clashes again it's not gonna solely be down to the music but part of it could be because the appeal to dance all itself and events of that nature in general mm. aren't as strong as they would have been once upon a time yeah like there was there was a time where you there was a time where when you go to what you would call a black club mm -hmm. you would hear r&b hip-hop and dance all and reggae yeah yeah you I would, yeah you would hear r&b hip-hop and dance all and reggae right mm. and i'm not saying that we shouldn't have Afrobeat and trap and, and but for us mm -hmm. as dancehall and reggae people we're the we're as as we have a smaller presence as we've ever had in these spaces mm. right now yeah and it's obviously it's a conversation about well is it what what's coming out of what we're doing that's affected that or is it that yeah. these other things are just that much uh -huh. better yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I yeah, making I sense? That, and this is why then there's that still that conversation about well the old tunes them last and Bob Marley's been at <clears throat> number one in the reggae charts Forever. for how many years yeah. because it's timeless. So there's there's weight in both arguments. But mm. again, I come to the fact to the point that I just feel like where sound clash is is reflective of other things that are happening to the wider culture as yeah, a whole. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like I feel like sound clash being a subculture of the wider thing as a whole is obviously probably going to die first because it was a niche part of it anyway. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. And that. so is it dead? No, but it it does need revival. I don't think it's impossible to revive it. I think it's actually mm -hmm. quite simple. Like just the man them we have on the dub plate on the stop sit down in the garage and, and, and play for on the bridge in them and drink rum and them thing there. Find some sound and find some place and play. Yeah and just make people see it and put it out dog. Mm. just do this something you get me because Content, then we man. get rivalries then we get people actually interested in in what that noise over there yeah, actually yeah, that yeah, was quite yeah. good yeah am i making yeah, sense man, like yeah, people man. get into things every day so this isn't hard for people to get into it's not the challenge isn't enticing them to be interested in sound clash mm -hmm. it's about it being there for them to be interested in yeah, yeah and that's yeah, where yeah. we've lacked uh -huh. what's your thoughts on it marky you know, I, because I, this is what i love talking about <laughs> with ecstasy now because <laughs> you k goes i mean um Zylo goes deep it goes yeah, yeah. mad technical it makes you think about it, you know and then, <laughs> now i'm gonna think bro you know what for real yeah, and then too. marky g will come with his, with his statement now and give a different version that, which keeps great content and great conversation at least kind of the same but you know what i mean it's slightly different i look at it right it's because i think sound clash is a part of the whole dancehall industry mm -hmm. 
to me, dancehall is reggae, sound clash, and you know what I mean? That's yeah, just yeah, one. Yeah. It's a culture. So to me, the whole, the, put like this, reggae, reggae music should be a business mm -hmm. because it's not a business, right? What's happened is it has, has its offsprings here and offsprings there. So as Zyla was saying, um, as Zyla was saying, dance that okay so it's you've got reggae you've got jamaican music being made not necessarily in jamaica yeah that's because obviously a lot of the jamaican artists are making the music outside yeah so they're going to be making this it's, it's the jamaican culture but with whatever culture they're mixed with mm -hmm. so you're going to get this over here which boom afro beats boom you got the the uk dance hall which mm -hmm. is slightly a a dance Harley, but yeah. a UK vibe to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anywhere in the world, it's going to have that Jamaican feel and atmosphere, but it's a, a different culture. Yeah. So it will naturally branch and the main core of reggae music mm -hmm. and the industry is going to shrink yeah. because it's grown and everywhere else is using it as a business. Yeah. As where in Jamaica, it's not a business. Uh -huh. It's a way of life, isn't it? It's a yeah. culture. It's a culture. It's a That's culture. It, it's what we live, what we yeah. know, you know what I mean? So I think it just needs to, in regards to Soundclash being dead, no, it's not dead. It just needs to be revamped. Revamped, in, yeah. In, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. In, in, in other directions. I Look fully at, agree. Like Red Bull, Culture Clash. That's a sound clash. Yeah. Straight up. They've just done it in a different you know, yeah, different, different genres, different format, yeah, different different genre. format which, different which, which no, it's the same format. It's the same format. Same literally, format. Literally the same, same format. Same meaning to what they're doing, mm -hmm. but with just different cultures. Isn't it? Yeah. And I thought that was fine. Yeah, A lot yeah, of people yeah. fight against that. And I thought that was going to yeah, be yeah. one of the most revolutionary yeah. things to happen. Um, me personally, I don't think Sound Clash is dead. It's just, it's just slowed down yeah. and we've got older and things are moved Exactly. On. But to just sit back and, I big up Chin still. God, we're cool. But just, uh, it's just the, we're on episode seven on why Sound Clash Coach is dead. It's like, there's how many episodes are you going to have? You know what, I'm glad you said that as well. I'm, I'm big up Chin because Chin is doing exactly what Chin should do as the proprietor of a media company, yeah. a promotion company. Like, that's Chin's mm -hmm. on job. So yeah. think what you want about what Chin's doing. If you're looking to be like in that kind of space you yeah. need to be taking some notes because what he's doing yeah, is bank it's, it's, it's yeah yeah, it's yeah. that's like degree level marketing stuff <laughs> does that make sense yeah. so big up chin um but i think like yeah i think that it's one of them where we, you know we just need to i guess applying it to what mark said either as sounds or somebody young applying it to what Peop, young people are gravitating yeah, that's to. It. That's all it is. Moving modern, into that just space, it from modern day get, people. Get DJ and Broad Street and DJ friggin' High Street yeah, to yeah. clash in a nightclub mm -hmm. using grime over there and that over yeah, there yeah, yeah. so that people can see and experience what a yeah. clash is like. And so that now when you see a poster of a clash, ah, that looks cool. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. enjoyed that one over there. And I think as well with the sounds, them, the modern, the, the, especially with the younger sounds, them as well, it goes back to the music, them. It's like, I'm seeing these some of these young sounds and the songs that they're playing don't fit them. Like you're not from that era. Like play the <laughs> yeah. songs and that from like from your era. Like if I was playing now, like say I was gonna play ecstasy in these modern day times now. I'm no, I'm no, I'm gonna have to get some grime and I'm mm -hmm. gonna get some R and B dubs and I'm gonna do that because I know my fan base mm -hmm. it's dubs. Mm -hmm. It's not just reggae anymore. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, one yeah. of the first sounds that was cutting a load of hip hop dubs, R and B yeah. dubs. Mm -hmm. Them, those, that, that's got to come back in because that's what the kids are listening to. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I'm hearing some sounds, young sounds coming out and, yeah, that Dennis Walks, no. And I'm like, <laughs> you would never play that song <laughs> anywhere yeah, yeah, apart from yeah, a sound yeah. clash. And now yeah. the time where we're coming to see you, you're playing songs that don't fit you. It don't make sense. Play something that is new. Like, for instance, like One for One. Man, one for one right now is whatever you want to play. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think now, you know what I mean? Even though some songs might sound regular in that book, blood, by all means, necessary to win the clash. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that, And that's it. But it's, it, I don't think it's dead at all, man. No, I no, don't, no. I don't think, I don't no, think it's dead no, so. at all. And with big dances like this coming up, you can't just say it's, it's dead and there's a world out here. Well, you I mean, know, there's so much going on all around the world to not just certify it as one dead thing, if that true. makes sense. 
to, to add to what you just said about the young sons playing the old, the old like the Dennis Watts mm-hmm. and them kind of. You know, when when I was a young son, when I was young, mm-hmm. and I was playing music, I thought, you know what, I have to show my knowledge of yeah. the foundation. Yeah. So I get where they're coming we from. We came you from know. a different era, though. Yeah. Because we got schooled by bigger yeah. sound men. True. You know what I mean, and we was playing big sounds. But remember, young. we're the bigger sound men now. Yeah. So the younger ones that are looking, they're growing up on us True. and looking oh, and right. thinking, yeah. mm, you know what I mean? I have to show my foundation. The young artist yeah. thing, the, the regular thing is, yeah, they can do that, but they still have to show the knowledge mm. of, you know, the. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah the, I hear that stuff. That's what I hear, I hear that. Boom. Right now you're checking out TV Sound System. This is myself, Mr. Sensi, representing the Raw Mark Sound System, the true lion art sound from the heart of the UK. Make sure you click that subscribe button to stay tuned and locked into all things Sound System related. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you don't miss a ting going forward. Bless up. And just like that, with the power of editing, we add another member to Ecstasy 4x4 inside the place. Yardy K, what's happening, fam? What up? What up? Got the, got the mic. What up? What up? What up? What up? How you doing? Soundtrack 1-3. <laughs> Don't Always. know the bad general in the building. Always prepared. Is it free? Well, we haven't really talked about The Clash. We were just going through a couple of um, sound conversations right now. We kind of ended it off with the conversation that's out there right now, which is, is sound clash culture dead? Uh, your take on that one? You know, say, so say, me, 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 me like that question there for my first question. Stain, me like that question there. Big man thing, me like that question there. <laughs> you know, say, me, me, I'm a general reason about the same thing. Mm. I wouldn't even say from, from week, just over the last few weeks. Mm. We've been reasoning about this topic, you know. I may have pre the match and I'm like, you know them say, you have a whole time saying, so what goes around forward, right back around. Mm. Yeah, me no man, sound clash can't dead. Mm. Sound clash can't dead. The culture can't dead. Mm-hmm. You see, pre, for, it's like, sound clash are the heartbeat of dance hall music, you know. Mm-hmm. You see, pre, and when I check it, I may talk from a sound man aspect, you know. Yeah. You see, sound clash in a dance hall is necessary. Mm-hmm. It's necessary. It's a part of the culture. It's a part of the DNA of dance hall music. Mm-hmm. You see, from it going at the dance hall era, the DJ them set it with the DJ them do them clash thing. Mm-hmm. You see. The sound clash itself, the sound clash industry. You know, know things and times, it, go, it, it have it fight. Yeah. And it have it fight for various reasons where me, 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 I'm a general did I discuss. Because you know we discuss different points mm. of view as individuals and ones and ones. You see it. But on the grand scheme of things, I see sound clash as a part of dance hall culture that is vitally important. Yeah. See it. That competitive nature in the music is vitally important. Yeah. You see? So for you, it definitely, definitely it, not dead. It not dead. Mm-hmm. It take a different turn due to what we would then call cowardness. Yeah. We're, we're spread like a disease through the business. Mm-hmm. You see? And sound individuals as far as I and I concern lost them way in the music as well you know mm. so you know, ones and ones of looking at themselves it's a serious question you ask you know mm-hmm. ones and ones of looking at themselves you know you see it for when you ask I and I about sound class scene sound clash is something where important in you know, the music whereby I don't I don't separate no element you understand you have the entertainment element scene, mm. and you have the sound clash element. I don't separate none of them scene. I feel like, say, ones and ones prove who is the great ones in the business through that domain. Mm. You real. see? Yeah. So it's like, say, take, we create Rupins, for example. Yeah. 
saying, and Rupins, we sit down and discuss what we want to bring about with Rupins, you know. Mm -hmm. And what we wanted to bring about was a dance hall whereby we now say we have to take it back in idea because we can't go back in idea. You see, but mm -hmm. we want to have that root heritage mm -hmm. in the nowadays setting, said yeah, speed. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like there's a segregation in a dance hall now where you have party, 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 mm -hmm. seven day a week. Yeah. And they have sound clash once every three months or every six months. Mm -hmm. And that creates a big problem. Seeing because you find that the mass now don't in touch with the, the culture, the mm -hmm. music, the art beat. Seeing mm -hmm. the mass get caught up in a, the party lane. Yeah. You see it. And that every, everyone's and ones are looking at themselves as to why that occur. Mm. Me personally feel like that occur because individuals last them way mm -hmm. seeing you see rupins rupins create an energy in a dance hall in a nowadays dance hall where there is no segregation of either sector mm -hmm. seeing the party man can't forward a rupins and bust him champagne buckle yeah. The girl who want to dress up in her skimpy shorts can forward her rupins and come out of her section where she knows that the broke out section are going to go on. And the sound clash fans them mm -hmm. are feed them part of it where they know that the dub plate are going to fly and the sound good as all get him face. He good as all left with a black eye. Yeah. <laughs> you see, Pri? Do you think rupins was way ahead of its time? I think it probably. Sorry. Let me. Well, I don't know, man. <laughs> a long time. I don't die. I know. I'm a dust land. I'm a dust land. Achoo. The people I want to hear the general. <laughs> you see, pray. Yeah, man. Hear yeah, me now. You see, the world sound, we have always been ahead of the times. Mm. You see, pray. Okay. And that I answer for the question there. Yeah. We have always been ahead of the times. We just look and foresee certain things happen. Mm -hmm. You see, some of them we jump on, some of them we don't jump on. Mm -hmm. You see, Rupins is exactly what we, as far as I and I concerned, they are them good as have a different individual opinion. But as far as I and I concerned, Rupins do all of what I say to you from earlier on mm -hmm. in terms of do I feel like the clash culture are dead out. Mm. You see, Rupins bring back all of the elements that are on a one umbrella. You see, because some people may say, yes, clash culture are dead out, you know, because, oh, clash dance them empty and rate -te -te and such. And these are things that we have to look into. Mm -hmm. You see, it and analyze and fix those things because on an ongoing world clash alone, fear them out. Mm -hmm. You see it, it clash them where I keep on week to week basis for a out too. Just like all the party them where I keep on week to week basis for a, for a out. Mm. Excuse me. You see, pray. Mm -hmm. But I feel like say there has been a detachment within the culture itself. The music and you, itself. And sorry to cut you, you, you are one that, so that was going to be kind of like my next question because when it comes to the party and then the juggling side of things, you're active still. In that part of the thing so you're seeing it as clear as day um why is it that unlike some other djs um, who are constantly juggling 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 you still are crying out for this passion for sound class culture you see pre big woman thing i feel like the two element them is important in the in the context of the culture. Mm. But it's the sound clash element of the thing. It separate what need to separate. Mm -hmm. You see it. For you never see Cheltenham 
in a Champions League with none of the big top ball of them. Mm. There's a reason for that. The sound clash element create the thing or it's supposed to set up the elements within the industry and the music itself. Mm -hmm. I feel that is necessary. You see, mm. the competitive culture is necessary. Mm -hmm. So you think that just the lack of competition and competitiveness is one of the things that is 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 um, letting the the culture down, especially sound clash. Definitely, in this day and age, it is. I feel like people get freed later on down. You see, what me feel like there's a, a a number of things that create the same question the way I ask. Mm -hmm. You see it, and. Big woman thing. Let me just bring it right back to the cultural aspect as the thing has been lost. Mm. And it needs to find back my G. Mm -hmm. You say pray. And Rupins. I don't forget none of the questions where you ask in the family. Rupins <laughs> do all of that. Mm. All of that. It incorporates every aspect of dance hall mm -hmm. you see it one umbrella definitely came to you seeing mm -hmm. the champion man can forward the yeah, art girl can there. forward everybody was there man. the sound clash people then can forward and you wanna everybody leave with a little part where they can go talk about and say, yo, you hear when that dog plate, they fly and chop them on them now head. Yeah. You see when time that girl that did cock yeah. up on the table over there. And that's what's great so. about it because the people them who don't know the culture are now entering everything. So they're not just going to a sound club. Exactly what Ruppins is. So even the, um, it was in Worcester, isn't it? Was it Worcester? No, Redditch. Yeah. Redditch. Yeah, Redditch. Yeah. That place there didn't get all aspects of the culture in one room, mm -hmm. in one place. So when even the the... The regular customers who were going and it might be an R&B night that night or a, a juggling night that night. Ruppins gave them Everything. the whole feeling of what this culture is about. And again, yeah, man, um, will we see Ruppins back again? 100%. Um, I think it's something that's got to be on the table. I know that people... Yeah, are, yeah, yeah, 100%. And, and think, even the way how you're talking about it now, there's got to be promoters out there thinking, right, man, number talking says it can be done. Um, yeah, uh, Is that something that we're going to look think, at for? I think it links to the question that he was asking before, if it come before its time, and it, it, mm. it, why? If it did forward before its time, it did. Um, I think if you look at the format and you apply it to who's active now, when Ruppins was going on, you didn't have a peel vibes, we didn't know other diamonds, we didn't yeah. know other... Am I making sense? Mm. Like, I think if you was to have Ruppins now, there's a lot of different styles as selectors and sounds that yeah. would all be able to deliver a good event yeah. that people especially now in this climate because we're having this conversation mm -hmm. would be interested in seeing yeah. and again like you said it provides the platform to be able to deliver on all of the elements that people need to be able to actually enjoy themselves again and and, and again it's it because of the competitive um nature of it yeah it means then like it always used to, which goes back to what Yadi was saying, and I, I can't agree more than what he was saying, is that when you lose that competitiveness, all right, then look at hip hop, mm. yeah? It's never lost it. And the reason why you can say it's never lost it is because you can look at the artist them and not just judge it by the amount of different feuds or whatever might be going on between artists, but you can tell that even with the nowadays rappers them, that one's trying to out-rap that one. That one's trying to out-rap that one. Mm -hmm. He's trying to make a better beat than that. He's trying to, am I making sense? Yeah. I feel like within our culture, selectors now, there's more selectors more concerned about money pull up than there is about actually bossing the dance. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there's more artists more concerned about likes and plays and, and views than they are about having the baddest tune on the rhythm. Yeah. Am I making sense? Mm -hmm. Like I feel like there's certain principles that used to be important that aren't anymore and yeah. that's changed and uh -huh. moved it to where we're at. The, uh, me and Select I was talking about this earlier on and mm -hmm. it's it's basically social media has a lot to play yeah. with it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. As in, just like what Zylo was saying, um, they're more interested in having money pull up and it being filmed to be, as opposed to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just so, the music. and then uh, the next thing as well, it's like if you ask a young person between age of fourteen and say at seventeen, goes, "Why is a sound clash?" Because the sound clashes have been so infrequent, yeah. right? It's not something that they know. So 
their answer to that may be something like, you know, God knows. They could say, yeah, yeah, to not. them, a sound clash is Red Bull, mm. which, because they don't know, the authentic Jamaicans yeah. sound clashing because obviously the generations has come down and it's it hasn't come down with the generations. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that's where they have to look back to the foundation to see what a sound clash is and who's doing it and, uh -huh. and who's doing it don't appeal to the young. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that's where the decline to mm -hmm. me as well is falling into place as well. You know what I mean. So it has to be generationally passed down, and they have to be doing it. And as I said, the music's changed as well. Yeah. So, but even even within the music, it's still competitive, mm -hmm. and even on a normal party event, it's still competitive. Mm -hmm. So there's elements of sound clashes in there without actually people knowing it, because yeah, every DJ has are, com are competing yeah. with each other yeah, 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 to outplay and who's yeah, playing yeah. the best. You know what I mean? Just to elaborate a little bit, power, I said that are something where. It too frequent in a dance hall. Them thing that fire one fire. One whole heap of fire upon them something there. Mm. You see, pretty because this is what we speak of roupings and the whole competitive nature where we are talking about and mm -hmm. basically rivalries. Rivalries them yeah. that's deriving from a dance like roupings where you mm -hmm. have two bad sound or two bad select and yeah. oh two word true and oh yo I forgot to go up on the battlefield go war it out, you know. Yeah. No. This is the nature of the culture. Seeing? And these are the nature where you find, and these are the part of the culture where you get the greats from, you know. And this, and this are the part of the culture where you get the Ricky Trooper them from, you know. Mm. And this are the part of the culture where you get the matter around them from. Mm -hmm. Seeing? And this are the part of the culture where you get base of the and them, the, the, the greats them from. Mm -hmm. Seeing? So, you see the aspect they know in a party, tight pants dance them now, because guess what, you know? We love the party them same way, you know. Seen, but there has become such a segregation, like say, sound clash, alien to dance yeah, hall. It's like an underground. Seen, it, it, it's like, it's like, yeah, it's like sound clash is some underground thing. Mm. You see it, whereas sound clash is really the daddy and the mummy oh, yeah. for the party. Mm -hmm. You see, pre. Mm. So it's very, it's, go on, go on, go on. Sorry, that little part the way. He selected them and threw word after them one of them in the party them where really and truly and just the patrons them forward out for full joy themselves and get drunk and go back home. Mm. Seeing who are going to do things, are going to do things and who are going to sleep, are going to sleep. You don't know how much we can talk. Uh, <laughs> you know, talk responsibly. You see, Pri? But from a cultural aspect, when we generally talk about where he selected them a true word and a competitive edge they remain in the party sector right now. Because mm -hmm. there's a straight divide. You, know, you have the party sector and you have the sound class sector. Mm -hmm. The party sector is thriving. Mm -hmm. It's doing brilliant. See, the sound class sector is not doing so brilliant. Mm -hmm. You see it. It takes a, take a dance like world class for you see 1,500 or 2,000 people turn out. Mm -hmm. For your sound clash, seeing whereby a sound clash we are keep on a weekly basis, it's supposed to a jar out one four hundred or one five hundred people in our yeah. in our venue and fill up the venue and make the patrons them have a, a, a good time same way. Mm -hmm. You see, 100%. so me feel like say that little true situation the in a party 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 is a part of the segregation and everybody bad but nobody not really bad. You see, Mats? Yeah. Now, when you bring back the thing on a one umbrella, that part I think they have to dash out. Mm -hmm. You see it? Who in the lane where, who a song me a play no car, me not ready for this or yet. And this or you there. Mm -hmm. That not say you no bad. Yeah. You see it? But everybody have to know them place and know them corner. Mm -hmm. You see, Pri? Now, when the little part of the aspect there, shoot out, and the aspect we're supposed to do there, did there, which is the aspect whereby everything on a one umbrella and the whole of the patrons, them, the party patrons, them, and the clash patrons, them, there, and, ah, uh, oh, a party dance tonight, oh, you throw a word after me, oh, me, hey, mm. me, I go fly back two song after you, and if that, 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 that not supposed to go any further in this, so, you know, because at least yeah, yeah, mash yeah. up the culture, you know, mm -hmm. you not supposed to go no further in this, so, because everybody have them fans, yeah. seeing? 
Mm. So we're supposed to go on in Odessa now, it build the atmosphere for no say, all right then, the background set. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a different I saw we know the culture. Yeah, yeah. I saw we know the culture. And at them they sitting there, we are at them they sitting there, we are forward back in the culture. Remember, me tell you, cause you know you always I say, yo, you know I don't know time. Mm -hmm. You see, pray. Yo, we know the thing, we know fool to the thing, we see all the thing them, so we just have do what need for do. You see, Matt? Mm -hmm. Them little thing they need for burn out I think uh, a culture of bring back on a one umbrella. That me a preach. Mm -hmm. And that me a preach. One umbrella. You see, the segregation part there. Eh, it have it have it have it have eliminate. 